I was in denial. The doctor said, I'll give you a few days, Sharice, but you need to accept this is happening. Like, you've lost your, your nipple and you could lose your boob. I nearly lost my life over social media. For 23-year-old Sharice, beauty is not just in the eye of the beholder. It is a currency, now increasingly set by algorithms and apps. On Instagram, the way you look is fundamental. You know, these apps give you this, I guess, the power to be able to change the way you look. The look that I want to go for, I've edited it, but I wanted to have that look done so I didn't have to do that. Today, a career in micro-celebrity has become viable for the generation trying to escape job precarity. But what is the impact of trying to be Instagram perfect in the pursuit of internet's fame? I want the Kurt, the hourglass figure, the, the Kardashian figure. I want the big bum. I want, I want the boobs. If I had that, it's clothing brands. It's, it's gym brands that want to collab with you. It's, it's a financial pathway. But as more British surgeons refuse to carry out some of the riskier cosmetic procedures that have become popular via social media, foreign companies are offering low-cost operations on Instagram. But are they overselling the reward and filtering the risk? Beauty makes almost £30 billion a year. That's more than car manufacturing. And barber surgeries go back to the Bronze Age. We've always placed value on how we look, but... Never before in human history has it been easier for that value in how we look to be monetized by an individual, turning all this into all this with just a smartphone in the fast-growing influencer economy. This industry has grown phenomenally in the last few years. So a lot of these content creators are spending a lot of time and money improving their content or improving their appearance because they're trying to get um, a consistent audience that means they then can monetize their audience. This is the home city of the brands powering the influencer dream, where Sharice is trying to achieve hers she has had multiple procedures since she was 18, including the world's most fatal procedure, the popular Brazilian butt lift known as a BBL, and apps have played a big part. So I went to the girl um, that does my filler and I said to her, I want it so my face is like the filter so I don't have to use the filter. Have you ever edited your pictures? I have done in the past, yeah. And, and what have you made, how have you edited yourself? In I've made my waist smaller, my... my, my bum bigger. So I had an uplifted implant in the UK. Um, last year I had my nose done. In between then I've had um, like filler in my lips, my cheeks, my chin. I said it to my parents. I said, they said, why are you doing this, all this surgery? And I said, I'm investing in my future. And they couldn't understand why, but I generally feel like once you start building up your platform on social media, it's other opportunities. Several weeks ago, Cherise flew out to Turkey for more cosmetic surgery. But after already having lipo this year, Cherise did not have enough fat for a further round to enhance her BBL. Instead, the surgeon abroad offered her a breast op and bum implants. This is the company Cherise signed up with, Arupa Med, one of the many pop-up cosmetic companies on Instagram who offer micro-influencers like Cherise a discount if they promote the company on social media. However, for Cherise, things did not go as planned. I kept saying to the nurses that I didn't feel right. They said it was normal and they checked my bloods and said that my blood levels was dangerously low. Um, so I got moved to intensive care. Um, I ended up having to have my implants taken out of my bum because they'd actually put boob implants in my bum. Um, my body started to reject them. Um, the doctor was quite concerned when I got back to England. Like It's that quick what's happening that tomorrow I could wake up and it could be half of the boob could be black and fall off. And when I was seen the next day, they diagnosed it with necrosis. I've got no sensation in my boob. Even if I did want another baby in the future, I wouldn't be able to breastfeed. On day eight of, of the diagnosis, she took the, the plaster off and my nipple came off of it. In the past, the company have had good reviews and customers happy with their results. They also say they have internationally acclaimed doctors and we've asked them for a response. Instagram say they have strict rules for cosmetic surgery. They limit organic posts for under 18s and even remove content. It's not that every surgeon abroad is bad and every surgeon here is much better, but it's harder to check and know what you're getting in advance. And you don't necessarily have easy access to aftercare if there's a problem. The problem with the marketing is that the glossy side of everything is shown and it, it's also giving the impression that anything is possible. Body transformation is not solely the domain of the surgical knife. 
The reason why people lean towards surgery is because they go to the gym and they realize it's not that simple. So I had a tummy tuck and I also had a breast uplift. So I had the loose skin removed from my stomach and then I also had the loose skin removed from the top of my chest as well. And last one. PT Alma White has body dysmorphic disorder, which NHS officials warn is aggravated by social media. Body dysmorphic disorder is basically where you feel that you are much bigger than what you are. Um, you don't really have a true sense of what you look like. I have a rule that if I go through my feed and there is anything that I find triggering or there's any message that I don't agree with, I unfollow the person straight away. But social media is designed to be addictive. Just the, the, the flicking and the scrolling through it, and the, it's not even directly searching someone's name to be nosy, it's just being on Instagram. It's like an addiction. Sharice wants you to see the consequences. But if you're squeamish, look away now. This is the cost of the new incentives of the social media age targeted at the group's most impressionable, young adults and teenagers. Do you think that you're still going to be kind of striving for so-called perfection? Just going about how it looks. Just horrible to look at. I think I've learnt my lesson from this. Learnt my lesson the hard way. But the real lesson is more unpalatable. Social media's overbearing influence shows no end.